Okay, today we're going to switch adapt this um, fiber optic light. Um, I got this on Amazon. I think it was about $12. First thing I do is I test it to make sure um, that it works. I put batteries in it, tested it, turned it on, and it works beautifully. So that's the very first thing that you want to do to make sure that um, you aren't trying to switch adapt something that doesn't work. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Today we're going to need small screwdrivers, um, a switch to test it, um, a female uh, 3.5. Um, I have a little container to put um, the screws in because I often misplace them. And then of course a soldering iron to take care of that uh, soldering. So I'm going to go ahead and start by um, unscrewing the two screws that are on here, which I have already done actually. Um, I unscrewed these two screws and of course I took the cap off so of the batteries. So I'm going to uh, take that off, set this aside, and um, I'm going to keep the batteries on, make sure it still works. Flip it on, works great. Um, there are these two things right here. I'm going to put one on this side, right here, and then one on that side and just hold it. And then use my switch to test to make sure it'll turn on and off. It just takes a minute here. There. On and off. On. Oops. So now I'm going to go ahead and find out where it would be an appropriate place to put a hole so that we can fit this right through it. Let's see. Let me put this back on so we have these in the right places here. Just like this. far side over there. Make sure we get that. So it looks like here's the switch right here on the bottom. So it looks about right here. I'm going to put my hole in here to be able to add uh, this 3.5 female stereo wire. So approximately right there. Knife just so I know where to put it. It's about right there. Now you can do two things. You can use a drill, but honestly I actually use my soldering iron it goes right through very nicely and it melts it right away. Remember not to breathe this in. Wipe it off to make sure you get all that off. Make sure you have good ventilation while you're doing this. Okay. Do it one more time just to get some of that stuff off here. There we go. Make sure you have your wet sponge to wipe it off on. So you can clean off all that as it comes off. Put your soldering iron back in. So there's our hole. I'm going to wipe it down. You can also take a um, kind of cut take your utility knife and just cut a little bit of that off. We can thread this right through here. So I'm going to thread this right through here just like this. Make sure it fits. It's definitely nice and snug. So that will work great. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that um, just got to see how it's going to fit the best here. So let me go ahead and tie a knot here so it stays. So it doesn't get pulled out. I'm going to tie a knot really nice and tight in there. There we go. And then I'm also going to hot glue this right here. I'm going to do next. I'm going to hot glue it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this right on to the circuit board. Now, to do this, the best way to do it is to actually heat this up. I'm 
seen this, so ouch. So I'm actually going to have this help me and to hold it for me. Hold this right here. Get that on there a little bit better. Heat up the solder. Let's see if we can do the other one. This other one on here, it's gonna go on the outside one right here. There's three of them, it's gonna go on the outside. soldering iron. Okay. Now, before we put it all back together, we need to test it. Make sure it's pretty sturdy. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug in our switch. We position that. There we go. There we have it. Now we have to very carefully put it all back together with making sure that this wire doesn't interrupt the lights. Go ahead and take this off. Okay, so now I've got my hot glue and I hot glued it, made sure it didn't hit any um, of the areas where the lights are. I'm also gonna hot glue it right here so it doesn't come out. It's very gentle. It's nice and firm. Put this up here like this. Just like this. Match it up the best I can. I'm actually going to test it again. Don't want to get it all together. And have it So let's test it out again using my button switch. And there it is. Turn it on and off. On and off. And the only way to be able to have this turn on to stay on, you can actually do some adaptations here. So a button switch does not allow you to be able to do that. But if you add a tiny switch to it, you can take the tiny switch and can do a toggle. Put the tiny switch here. Put the button switch the switch. Then you turn it on and it'll stay on. And then you can turn it off. Use them with all switch adaptive toys um, or things that you might have. The other option you can do is you can actually make your own toggle switch. This is a light switch that we turned into an adaptive switch that some kids or adults are able to use. And we just use stereo wire. Put that right inside there and you flip it on and it stays on. And you flip it off and it turns off. So that's how you do the fiber optic light.